Hello everyone, welcome to iExambi. Please subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon. This is Aditi Economics Faculty at iExambi and in this video I am going to discuss a very important topic which is the Bertrand model. Numericals are often asked from this portion. But also watch till the end to know a very important shortcut trick to solve such numericals. So what exactly is a Bertrand model? So it's another form of an oligopoly model in which Firms are assumed to determine their prices simultaneously. So, oligopoly model is a model where there are few sellers in the market, and these few sellers come together and they could either determine prices or quantity in the market. In the Burton model form of oligopoly model, firms are determining the prices simultaneously. So, if let's say there are two firms, one and two, if one first firm has set the price to be equal to P1 for the commodity that it wants to sell in the market then keeping the price of the uh, firm one that it is trying to charge in the market firm two will determine what the price it will charge for the output that it is going to produce in the market. so these pricing decisions are made simultaneously in the market in, uh, in order to study the burton model we are now going to divide our study into two categories one is that we will first study what happens in case the goods are homogeneous there is homogeneous product in the market and what will happen if there are differentiated or heterogeneous products in the market so in case of homogeneous product each firm charges the price equal to their marginal cost okay if price of charged by firm 1 is P1, price charged by firm 2 is P2 and all of this would equal the marginal cost of production. So equilibrium in Bertrand is same as that of the perfectly competitive outcome where price charged is equal to the marginal cost. Now, now why are firms charging price equal to the marginal cost? This is because if, if one of the firm let's say charges a price greater than the marginal cost then what will happen is that its competitor can reduce the price slightly okay below the ch uh, the charged price by firm one and by reducing the price slightly the competitor can capture the entire market in case there are homogeneous product okay in case there are perfect substitutes the firm would charge a price equal to the marginal cost and in this situation there will be no incentive for any firm to deviate from their pricing structure. This case will hold even when there are as little as only two firms in the market. And that's why this paradoxical thing is also called as the Bertrand paradox. Because there can be price competition with as little as only two firms in the market in case there are homogeneous product in the market. It is paradoxical in the sense that uh, competition between as few as only two firms can be so tough. The second case of differentiated product. In case there are differentiated product in the market, then what happens? The best response of the firm represents the profit maximizing price charged by that firm for a given price charged by the competitor. So the best response or the reaction curves are determining the equilibrium prices. The intersection of the best response curves or the reaction curves determine equilibrium prices in the market in case of Burton model with differentiated products. So let's say if the best response curves are drawn in the P1, P2 plane like this. Let's say these represents the best response functions for firm 1 and firm 2. Then the intersection of these best response curves determine equilibrium in the market. And this is the profit maximizing price for firm 1 and this represents the profit maximizing price for firm 2. And this point is the equilibrium point in the market. So the equilibrium in Bertrand solution is also known as the Nash equilibrium of the game. Why is it called the Nash equilibrium? Because firms do not have any incentive to deviate. Now let's uh, look at a numerical and how to determine prices. 
So here there are two firms in the market and they follow Bertrand model. So they're determining prices simultaneously. The demand curve faced by them is Q1 equals to 20 minus 3P1 plus P2 and Q2 is equal to 20 minus 3P2 plus P1. If the marginal cost is zero and the product is differentiated, calculate the price charged by the two firms for profit maximization. So this write down the demand functions. Q1 is equal to 20 minus 3P1 plus P2 and Q2 is equal to 20 minus 3P2 plus P1. These are the demand functions. Now, derive the profit function for firm 1, which would be total revenue minus the total cost. So, total revenue is given by price times quantity. So, this would be equal to P1 times Q1, which is equal to 20 minus 3P1 plus P2. This is the total revenue for firm 1 minus the total cost. For profit maximization, we have to derivate this function with respect to P1, okay, because P1 is what the firm 1 is going to determine. And total cost, we know that marginal cost is 0. So this total cost would be equivalent to the fixed cost, which is some constant. Right? When I derivate this function with respect to P1, I have del pi 1 upon del P1 is equal to 20 minus 6 P1 plus P2. Now first order condition requires that you put the first order derivative equal to 0. So you have P1 is equal to 20 yeah. plus P2 by 6. This is one equation that we get. Now similarly, the profit function for firm 2 would be TR2 minus the total cost. So pi 2 would be P2 times 20 minus 3P2 plus P1 minus the total cost. Now differentiating this profit function with respect to P2, I have del pi 2 by P2 which is equal to 20 minus 6P2 plus P1. And the first order condition requires that you put it equal to 0. So you have P2 is equal to 20 plus P1 upon 6. So this is the second equation that I get. Now you have two equations and two unknowns. Solving these two equations for P1 and P2, you get P1 to be equal to 4. P2 is also equal to 4. Now time for the shortcut trick that I said in the starting of the video. So there is a very quick formula to calculate the prices of the two firms, which is given by P1 is equal to A plus C P2 upon 2B and P2 is also equal to A plus C P1 upon 2B. So here A is the first term, the coefficient let's say this is the demand function q1 is equal to a minus b p1 plus c p2 and q2 is equal to a minus b p2 plus c p1 this is the general form of the demand function for q1 and q2 for the two forms so here the coefficient of the first term represents a coefficient of the second term represents b and coefficient of the third term represents c Putting these values in the equations, you can quickly determine P1 and P2. So P1 would be equal to, in our question, A is given as 20 plus C is 1, P2 upon 2B. B is 3, so this is 6. And P2 is also equal to 20 plus P1 upon 6. So now we quickly have just found in two steps what would be the two equations in terms of P1 and P2. Now solving these two equations you have P1 is equal to P2 is equal to 4 rupees. This is the price charged by both of us for profit maximization. So hope you liked this particular shortcut trick. For more such videos and any kind of guidance you can, you can visit the iExambi website.
We have a flat 50% offer running right now for the RBI Grade B DPR online course. If you are interested in any kind of guidance for the exam, you can avail this offer and enroll for the course. That we have regular classes covering all important topics for phase one. And we also provide 1500 MCQs with detailed solutions. So there are 10 mock tests for phase one and there are 10 section tests. So these 10 mock tests comprise of approximately 620 questions and the 10 section tests that are given for all each of the three modules, micro, macro, statistics and econometrics. These comprise of another 500 MCQs and the leftover MCQs are there in the form of chapter test and concept check, check questions under each and every uh, videos. So these are approximately 1500 MCQs with detailed solutions. The live classes have been ongoing uh, since 24th of March. If you are interested to avail any, uh, to have any kind of guidance, you can also visit the iExamB website or you can mail us at this particular email ID or you can even contact us on this particular number for any kind of inquiry. Thank you.